spiral model in software development life cycle is a combination of an iterative model and a waterfall model which is highly emphasis on risk analysis and here in this process it runs through an initial steps like spiral by incremental release of the product or an incremental refinement through each iteration within the spiral so this spiral architecture or the model it runs through a round circle spiral way where it initiates the same process if it fails or it repeatedly goes through various phases within the spiral so let's see that in detail and before that uh, in spiral model there are four types of phases one is identification design construct or build and risk management and now let's see that in detail as we know that spiral is one of the model for the requirement of software development and the first phase in the spiral is identification here in identification it is to gather few informations depending upon the customer's need and getting some informations about the product and uh, some informations about system requirements also are being discussed here so there is a continuous communication between the customer and the system analysis who is starting the initial step to a uh, step that is said as identification so here a unit request or a business request or a system request is initiated here to gather few informations and to to go to the next step to develop the software design with the help of all the informations from identification these informations are gathered and made into a design or an architecture like how the system has to be built or, or how the software has to be built step by step so here a system design or a module design and an architectural design such as physical product designs also are being initiated here in a sequential manner so that once when uh, so that we can i include the workings of identification and making it into a design process and going to the next level to make a better processing construct or build in this construct or build the software is actually uh, started the, the, the development of software is actually started in this place and it is developed at POC which means proof of concept it is developed to get a feedback from the customer so every in all these process the identification design and construct uh, there is a continuous communication between the customer and the system analysis so here in this stage the software is almost ready and also a feedback from customer is required to make future enhancements evaluation and risk analysis in this stage here the testing is completed and it's ready to work in real time so the identity identifying estimating and monitoring technical facilities are over a management of risk and also it is said to be that with the help of the customers feedback given be, given before from identification design and build all these are being compared and evaluated with the software and with the provided feedback and in this stage a process of scheduling monitoring is also done so if there is any failure or any information that is missed out it can go through a cycle again using the identification design construct and if a constructor built or evaluation it can go into a spiral way and having a relationship with the customer and making it to implement in a better way for future modification as well as few changes that we need to make the software to work on real time applications in spiral model is very commonly used in the software industries for 
the development process of any product and here it involves a minimal risk for the customer as well as a development firm when there is cost involved there is a budget and also the risk evaluation is very important that it should not cross the budget and a long-term project commitment is always better so that uh, due to the economic uh, strength economic issues or either it can be requirement changes with time it can vary spiral model is more suitable when the customer is not sure about his requirements himself where where it is usually happens in these cases like a customer will not be able to know his requirements but he wants to process or uh, depending upon how however the software is developed and sometimes new product lines uh, should be uh, released in phases to get enough customers feedback to get more customers uh, feedback in it and sometimes there are some chances like significant changes are also expected in the product during the development of of the spiral model cycle of the software in the spiral model cycle advantages of spiral model here we know that uh, a high amount of risk analysis in, is involved in it. So avoidance of risk is enhanced and it's suitable for the spiral model is suitable for a good and a good form of large and mission critical projects. A strong approval and documentation control has to be done because it's a, it's a kind of a spiral and it's a kind of an upgradation process every time. And also like additional functionalities can be added at later date which means upgradation or modification can be done day by day and the software is produced earlier in the software life cycle disadvantages of spiral model there is more cost involved in working on this model and also we need an expert is like highly dip, uh, expert people can handle this for high specification purpose and projects is success uh, project success is highly dependent on risk analysis phases and this doesn't work on small projects as well so this is all about the spiral model under software development life cycle